Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for Windows 11 24H2 in the main release. As I've said before, Windows 11 24H2 is pre-installed on certain devices, for example Copilot Plus PCs and certain manufacturers. So those devices have Windows 11 24H2 pre-installed and Microsoft is releasing updates monthly for those devices as well. Windows 11 24H2 will be widely available somewhere in September or October this year, so until then everyone else has Windows 11 23H2. In this this video we're talking about the build 26100.1457 as I've said for Windows 11 24H2. In this video as always we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 update for the main release. So if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. To go more in depth about this build this is the B release or the security update for the month of August for Windows 11 24H2 and in this build of course Microsoft improves the security side and fixes a lot of security issues in the Windows operating system but in addition to that mainly tied to this build this update addresses some errors related to the lock screen for example an error that is documented in their blog post and because of that error the use my Windows user account checkbox was not available on the lock screen to connect to Wi-Fi also this update removes the net join legacy account reuse registry key and in the official Microsoft blog post you have more info about that this update also applies SBT to systems that run Windows, the update hardens DNS server security to address some exploits. Of course, you can go in the article below in the video description or on the official Microsoft website and check out the in-depth list of all the security improvements and fixes that were applied in this build. And of course, in this build, we have new features that were part of the last month's C release, which was the build 26100.1301. And from those, we can mention the new PC manager app, new improvements to the share button in Windows, new emoji, new improvements to the start menu, such as the new account manager and the ability to drag and drop items from the pin section to the taskbar, new improvements to file explorer and also the settings app which I think are pretty useful and these are slowly rolling out to users of course I'm sure that there are not a lot of users that have devices pre-installed with Windows 11 24H2 but if you are enrolled in the release preview channel you can easily go ahead and get Windows 11 24H2 if you want it. So I'm not going to go in depth with that because we've talked about those features in the previous video about Windows 11 24H2 but if you check out the article below of course you can see an in the list of all those. Of course, we also have the Windows 11 service and stack update, which ensures that you can reliably install Windows updates. And we also have a new known issue in this build that doesn't allow ARM devices to download and play Roblox via the Microsoft Store on Windows, and this should be noted as well. So basically, this is everything that there is to it in the latest update for the main release for Windows 11 24H2. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from Tech Base. Until next time, have a nice day.